everybody here for being all sales. We got the Star Trek music going in the background, showing you the new Star Trek motor on. So I want to do the video on this thing today. It's a uh, super cool 1986, uh, built by Eldorado Starfire, 31 foot, one owner, 22,000 original miles, and it's really cool. Not something that we normally deal with. Obviously we do camper vans. When we have the opportunity to buy this, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of cool to buy it. So um, what we're gonna do is a video, we'll do a walk around on the outside, go to the inside and show you how mob it is and uh, how marvelous it's marvelous it is. So um, 460 motor, Ford E350 chassis, um, like I said, 22,000 miles. Easy to get parts for because it's just a Ford van underneath this thing. Uh, the one ton Googly chassis. Uh, it does have a passenger driver side door, which a lot of Class A motorhomes do not have that. Down there is the uh, propane tank. But always stored inside um, was waxed oh, ferociously, they said, like one of the best wax vehicles they've ever had. I wouldn't want to wax this thing, but it didn't need it. Um, so very well cared for. The, uh, the dad bought it brand new, uh, the family used it. And then uh, father passed away, so they uh, they weren't able to use it for the last little while. So we put nine brand new tires on it because the tires are brand new but 20 years old. So we got brand, nine brand new tires off, so that obviously includes a spare. Dually rear axle, rear wheel drive. The back axle is a tag axle that's run on air ride, so you, you can adjust the air ride from the inside. This is the exhaust for the uh, furnace, but just in great shape. And they carry the Lincoln Continental look in the back with the, uh, the fake Continental kit right there. The spare tire is underneath. Has a uh, backup camera slash tailgate laser. So if someone's tailgating, you hit a button and it just disintegrates them. So that's kind of cool. I think it's a little you know, extreme to have, but hey, it's a cool feature. Driver side here. Got all your hookups, electric for water and cable, where you put the gas in, uh, the dumps down there. Again, it's like, you know, almost no flaws on this thing as far as paint goes. Um, they, the underneath, the underneath the chassis, the poor, uh, poor 15, I forget what it is, but they, uh, rust proofed all the stuff underneath on the underside so it's absolutely solid and there's no rust on it. Uh, I got a pretty good storage area here. This flips up. Locks there. That flips down. Light comes on. So good storage area. They always kept extra belts and hoses. Show you the driver's side cockpit here. Again, Ford tilt steering wheel, Ford Ford pickup dashboard, gauge instrument cluster, and then EMC's Command Central there. Good job there, cameraman Zach. Trying. Zach is on it. Um, I'll pop the hood and we can look underneath the hood of this thing. Man. So Lincoln Continental Mark 7 grill and headlights. Uh, the only vehicle that Lincoln Ford Company ever use, ever let someone else use their um, use their headlights in, some, in another vehicle other than theirs. So, kind of cool. So, big long hood. Big enough to hold the generator up front. Got the uh, shutter tube holder right there. And then back up in here is the 460. Huge radiator, they did a radiator out of the 7.3 diesel. So it's a huge radiator for this motorhome, which is what they need. 
Um, motor carburetor has been rebuilt. All the oil's changed. All the fluids have changed. Um, the thing runs and drives like it's got 22,000 miles on it. Two new batteries. One for the coach and one for the front end. All right, should we show them inside, Jack? Absolutely. All right. Please be careful, it's very, very moth. So the inside of this thing is as nice and new as the, as the outside. Um, this folds down into a double bed. Um, obviously you can put a table here as well. And then these two chairs rotate sideways. So you can sit that way as well. Seat belts, and there's 13 seat belts in this thing. Um, this is kind of cool. This table, if you lift this up, this table slides down in here and it totally disappears. Got your wine rack right in there. Magazine rack on this side. And check these out. Pop-up cup holders. Uh-huh. That's not cool. <laughs> These front seats always also swivel around. Um, I thought this was kind of cute. You're, you know, the wife's riding here and doesn't have a mirror, right? Open the glove box. Look at this. Your own personal handheld pink matching mirror. Moth. Yeah, it's moth. Yeah, make, make, make it moth. As seen on TV, got those things. Uh, the carpet is doesn't look good in here right now because um, the, these are runners and we didn't wash the runners. All the carpet underneath has been steam cleaned and stuff, but we're leaving the runners down just to keep the dirt out of here. So, lots and lots of storage, overhead compartments. Okay, kitchen. There's a lot going on in this area right here that you don't normally see in. A motorhome or a class B RV. Um, start off here, cutting board. Look at that. In here, it'll open up in shelves there. So, you see this? Looks like a small refrigerator. We've got a big refrigerator right here and a freezer. See this? See this? See this? See this? That's an ice maker. Yes, there's an ice maker here. Is that crazy? Right here, open this up, slide it out. Look at the size of that pantry. Chicks dig pantries. We know that. So, four burner stove. Thing looks like brand new, like it's never been used. Uh, this is a place where you can put a mixer. So you can make your margaritas right here. You can get the mixers for these things online. It's actually a whole food processor system that you can get. Um, there's even a and all the paperwork, all the paperwork's up there. There's a, a recipe book and all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of cool, all built in. I would see a convection uh, microwave. Um, back here, you've got two couches that will seat one, two, three, four, five, six, six seat belts here as well. Um, this does not make into one huge bed. Um, it, the, the twin beds, they keep the twin beds, but these obviously, you pull those down and you got two nice size twin beds. So more stuff going on in this area. Every coach like this needs central vacuum system. When you got this much carpet, you may as well have central vac. Again, storage cupboards up here. Dual air conditioners. The front one works on the generator. The back one works on shore power. Um, the bathroom is amazing. I'll let Zach slide back in here. There's actually a sticker on the shower floor that looks like the that it's never been used. Um, I probably get probably kind of dark. Oh, there you go. Hello. Look at that. Read it. <laughs> Closet in here. Light comes on when you open the door. Storage for the two tables. You can have a table up front, up front and then the table back here also. And 
a cigarette lighter. So, you know, that's important. There you go. What else we got, Zach? Am I missing anything? <sighs> On the quick run through? I don't think so. This is a TV up here. Old school. So this slides open like that. TV rotates and slides out of there. And then in here. VCR, baby. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And a place for a DVD player. Cassette player up front. Um, this area, this is where you control all this. The, um, the rear tag axle air. Um, you turn the generator on up there. Um, check all your levels on all your tanks and that kind of stuff. So, um, anything else, Zach? Uh, you pull that bed down if you wanted to. I just sat on it now. No. So. I'll take a nap. There's the bed. So yeah, just a just a extremely cool unit. Um, they only made about 300 of these. They made them 86, 87, and 88. Those three years, basically. Um, and uh, I've seen a number of these online once in a while, but they're all like kind of ragged out and stuff. This is the nicest unit I've ever seen. That's this old, and one of the rarest. So. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you like it. You guys have a good day. See ya.